When working with search editors in VS Code, the context lets you see additional information about where matched terms are being used in one of your files. To start, let's go and create a new search editor. So I'm going to open up the command palette with Control Shift P or Command Shift P on Mac and say new search editor. So I want the search editor, new search editor command here. Now I have my search editor open and I'm going to search for code action in my current code base. You can see that here are all of my results in a various different files here. And if we look at one of the results, say this first one here, you can see that the match term itself is being highlighted. So here is code action. If we look over to the left side, you can see the line number for the current match, so 302 in this case. And then around this line, there's one line before and one line after, and that is the context. So the, the context is showing you a little bit more information about where each of these match terms themselves is appearing in the code base. If we look through all of these search results here, you can see that each line has this context around it as well. So just getting a little bit of extra information there. Now you can adjust the context. So one thing you might want to do is disable the context entirely. Let's scroll back up to the top. And if you want to get rid of the context, all you have to do is click on this little button over on the right hand side of the search editor with the three lines. So this will either show or hide the context. It can be a quick way to toggle the context on and off. Now with the context disabled in this case, you can see that each of the lines here has the match term on it. So code action appears on each of these lines. All the line numbers are bold and we're no longer getting that context. Now let's go turn the context back on. And the other thing you might want to do is actually increase the size of the context so we get even more information about where these match terms are appearing. To increase the size of the context, I'm going to go over to this number input and go an arrow up here to increase it. So I now have, when I set this to six, I have six lines before and six lines after for each of my match terms. We have a lot more information now about where this match term is actually appearing in the file. And I can really increase this to something quite large. So I could go up to like 12, for example. So we're seeing quite a lot of code for each of the match terms now. Or I could go back to down to something like, let's say four. So I have a more reasonable um, size and my search results aren't too huge. Now, if you're ever wanting to view more information about one of the search results and the context is not quite enough, all you have to do is double click on one of the lines and VS Code will open the file itself. So say I was interested in this search result, I can just double click on this line here and you can see that VS Code has opened the completions file itself. So that's a quick look at the context in VS Code search editors. It can be very helpful for seeing where a match term is being used in your files.